Welcome back and Happy New Year. I enjoy spending time away with my family, but happy to get back to creating my most beautiful and productive aquaponic system. I decided to use the Metalla Four State filter material for my barrels. They came in sheets about an inch and a half thick. I cut them to size using the lid of the barrel as a template. They're easily cut with my Gerber and some scissors. After that, it's a matter of fitting them into the barrel. Two in each barrel. Next, I decided to put two 55 gallon drums in the fish tank for several reasons. First, it's easy to observe the fish and take out the dead ones. And second, to keep the fish safe from other creatures that want to eat them, such as other big fish. I use a circular saw to cut slits in a 55 gallon drum and then I cleaned it out really well before sinking them into the fish tank. I can feed the fish in the barrel below with this duckweed. This sim simple device can control how much duckweed I want to feed. Basically, drill a hole in a piece of foam bigger than the drain pipe. Then insert a piece of pipe sticking out below the foam. This allows the water to flow and also prevents the duckweed from passing through since the duckweed floats on top of the surface of the water. This deep water culture container is made from a tub similar to the duckweed tub with an inlet and an outlet hole. The support for the plants is made from some scrap cedar fence boards connected together with some screws. Then holes are drilled for the net pots. I'm using this as an area, area to propagate strawberry plants from some runners that I have in my other planters. So who or what supplies nutrients for these plants? The answer is my baby channel catfish. They've been quarantined for about a month. I only put four of them in here to literally test the water. And if everything's okay, I will add more next week. Just one more thing before I go. While I was away, many tiny baby tilapia escaped into the big tank. I think the reason is because the water did not drain fast enough through the tiny holes at the bottom. So the water level got up to this hole um, for the handle and it's just big enough for the babies to escape. They are hard to catch. So I'm patiently waiting for them to be sucked up by the solid lift output pipe and catch them in the filter. Well, this is all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and Happy New Year!